I don't know about y'all, I'm pretty sure, but I am so thankful, praise the Lord, that Jesus Christ has secured everything on my behalf because Lord knows when I was left to my own devices, when I was, when I was left to me trying to do everything for myself and my life, which literally it, I was just trying to save myself from everything around me. This is before being born again. I was only walking myself further and further into death <laughs> and Praise the Lord that he secured everything for us by his perfect, perfect shed blood on the cross. I want to know nothing among you save Christ and him crucified. It really is true because before there was so much knowledge and uh, knowledge. It wasn't actual true. I mean, it wasn't the truth. So it wasn't good knowledge to have. But there was so much knowledge and so much nonsense and it all profited nothing like like Paul talks about in Philippians 3 where he counts everything that happened as loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ he counts everything as dung so that he may win Christ and it's it's so real it's so true and when you have tasted and seen that the Lord is good every time that he just he shows you a little bit more it's just a bigger and bigger and a more deep and tall and perfect picture of his awesomeness, of his grace, of his love, of his, of his plan that the whole time it was just to shout, is to bring everything into Christ, to shower us with kindness and love throughout all ages to come, as it talks about in Ephesians. And I'm so thankful that he has done everything on my behalf so that there is no demand on me. This, this posture of rest is very active. But it comes back to the same thing every time. The blood of Jesus Christ and everything that was accomplished on the cross. The fact that he destroyed all commandments and laws and ordinances that was against us, that was contrary to us. He nailed it to his cross and took it out of the way. Hallelujah. We have been freed from the law. We are dead to the law and married to another, even the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 2 is where I talk about, or where the word talks about, where he, uh, we are baptized, with, uh, baptized into his death. We are crucified with Christ and that he destroyed all things that were contrary to us. That's Colossians 2. And that we are dead to the law and married to another, even the Lord Jesus Christ, the whom and in whom that we have salvation, who that who saved us. Hallelujah. That's Romans 7. And we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. That's in Ephesians where I've been at. And I'm so thankful because I can never, I can never do it. I know that my flesh is so weak. Romans 8, I think is that one. It, it, the flesh was weak and it could not do it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's Romans chapter 8. You guys go there. The, I cannot do it and, and the Lord knows that. And he made a way. He already made a way and it's through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's through Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. He is the way, the truth and the life, John 14, 6. And no man cometh unto the Father but through him. That includes fellowship, man. That includes approaching boldly. That's not just salvation, but that's that's us walking it out in faith. In faith, constantly believing. Doing our best. When I said in the last video, doing our best, what I meant is doing our best to believe. Because nobody wants to go out and make mistakes, but we're going to. And we need to have our minds renewed in the truth of the gospel. Have it cleansed with the blood of Jesus Christ, not by going back to the law to try and earn anything. I know that my flesh is weak. I know that I'm going to make mistakes. And that I also know that I'm not condemned. And that I don't free myself from sin from the power of sin. I don't free myself from condemnation. I don't free myself from the law. I don't free myself from any of that through the law by obeying it. I free, the Lord frees me from that. Hallelujah. By me just resting in his finished work. As he continually opens up the word and shows me his amazing grace. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, his amazing grace. So I'm so thankful that it's all about what he did and nothing about what I do, man, because I am weak. I know that. And I need the Lord Jesus Christ every second of every day. Yesterday was a very difficult day for my wife and I. The enemy was just trying to, was just coming against us so hard individually and um, and just trying to cause so much, so much pressure on us. Um, and to try and whisper these lies and, and tell all these things about our situation or our circumstances or uh, emotions or feelings, trying to get us to run around the rabbit hole. And when we make mistakes, trying to get us to figure out ways to fix those mistakes rather than trusting the Lord to work it out for our good because that's the truth and to get us distracted. The enemy wants to get us distracted so that we don't run to the blood of Jesus Christ and remember and have our minds renewed in the truth that Jesus Christ already did it all and he's working everything out for us. And he is the author and finisher of our faith and that we can trust him. His timing is perfect is that we don't have to look at things and trying to figure out from our perspective. We can wait. We can pray and say, Lord, we need your perspective and then do our best to wait. This is everyone, every born again believer. We can do that. And we can trust that the Lord is faithful because he is. I promise you, he will show up in your life. He will show up in whatever circumstance it is. He will show up in whatever friendship or relationship or work or coworker relationship that needs mending. He will show up. All we have to do is wait upon the Lord and believe. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. We just come by faith. I'm so thankful that it's all what the Lord did because I can't do it. And every time I remember, I can't do it. I'm crucified with Christ. There is not even a demand on me to do it. The Lord is going to do it. Praise the Lord. The Lord has already done it. I'm walking in victory because I have Christ in me, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. I am clothed in Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for me. The Lord will fight for you, brother and sister. He will do everything. Man, it's so hard for us to, to, to grasp this because it's, it's such a huge subject. It's the, it's, it's the Lord. <laughs> but I'm so thankful. And even, even in terms of eating and drinking of Christ, I'm starting to understand that I really, I really need Christ to do that for me. Because sometimes I want to, my, my, my um, hunger for the Lord is strong and I want him. And then the next minute, the, an hour later, it's completely gone and I'm like off and I'm, my, my mind is wandering. I'm uh, looking outside, just looking at stuff and like not thinking about much and then and then I stumble or something or the enemy tries to come against me and I need the Lord to bring me back in, praise the Lord, to remind me of everything, the Holy Spirit to bring remembrance to the scripture um, and the word. Uh, and I just, I, 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 he's showing me that in all things, even in my appetite for him, even in me eating and drinking of him, in everyday life, in everything, all things physical and spiritual, I need him and I want him to do it for me because I won't be able to do it the right way. <laughs> he, he'll, he'll be able to do it the right way. Praise the Lord. So I don't want to trust in my own ability. I don't want to trust in my own works. I don't want my conscience to try and be satisfied through my works or my efforts or me thinking that I can handle something. Bruh, because every time I think I can handle something, I very much cannot. <laughs> and that's like walking this out is... Uh, is partially like us continually coming to an end of ourselves, our, our flesh continually being shown and revealed to us that it is weak, that we have no strength, and our, our strength should not be in the flesh. It should be in Christ, who is faithful, who is perfect, who uh, is our good shepherd and working out everything in us. He is the life in us, so we should just rest and abide in him as the branch abides on the vine, and the vine nourishes the branch, and the branch brings forth the fruit, but not of its own effort, just because it's eating and drinking. So I just want to, I'm just so thankful that the Lord is doing it all, and that I can really, we can rest in him and know that he's going to work it out, and know that he is going to lead us. He is our good shepherd. He's going to feed us. He's going to give us drink, which is himself. And he's going to renew us. We just, we just keep believing, man, the best that we can. That's what I meant in that, that one part of that video. Um, but 
uh, the last video. But anyways, I, I pray that this message was, was an encouragement. I just wanted to, the enemy is trying to come against me for any, any number of things right now. And I just wanted to basically preach the gospel to myself. And it worked. Praise the Lord. And it worked. And I pray that this was a message. This, this message was a blessing to y'all. Um, and we we remember he's so awesome. He loves us so much. We are saved. We are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. He is He is the life in us. We are walking in victory. Yeah, we're going through the battles, but it's always a victory every single time. Every single time. Not in a, Not a victory in our own strength, but a victory in the Lord. Always in excuse me, always in the Lord. He will carry us through at his perfect timing. Everything will get handled. And it's to just constantly show us that we can, that we can trust him, that we can believe him. Um, hallelujah. Uh, and to comfort us so that we may comfort others. Praise the Lord. And a lot of the times we don't understand that. Um, like we go through stuff and it's not even for us. Sometimes it's not even for us. It's actually so that we'll experience something so that the Lord uh, will come for us so that when someone else is going through it, we can comfort them. It's so interesting. Uh, but anyways, praise the Lord. God bless y'all. Take care. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.